Jaquan Gardner's phone will be fully charged and by his side during the NFL Draft, which will be staged April 26-28 at Dallas Cowboys AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The 2014 Central Valley High School grad enjoyed a record-breaking career at running back with Humboldt State. Jaquan could join the professional ranks through the draft or free agency. I'm really excited to see what happens, said Gardner, who stands 5 foot 7 and weighs 205 pounds. Don't get me wrong, it's every kid's dream to get their name called, but my goal is to end up in a camp somewhere. If that happens, it's a step in the right direction. I just want to be in a position where I'll get a shot to make a 53-man roster. Gardner attended an NFL Pro Day on April 4 at UC Davis, along with Lumberjack teammates Robert Weber, quarterback, William Moffey, wide receiver, and Richard Doctor, wide receiver. Participants completed a number of workouts and drills. Scouts from the San Francisco 49ers, Oakland Raiders, Atlanta Falcons, Minnesota Vikings and Cleveland Browns were in attendance. I'm definitely happy with my performance, he said. Said, I felt like I did enough. My film speaks for itself, I put up solid numbers. Gardner's agent, Cameron Weiss from Los Angeles-based Empire Athletes, has been in contact with a number of NFL teams. My agent will handle the business side, Gardner said. He's doing a great job making calls and building relationships. Hopefully, we'll have some options. If I get the opportunity, it will be up to me to make it happen on the field. Jaquan will spend time with family and friends and train at Bonsu Elite Athletics in series during the NFL Draft. This is something I've been working for, for the longest time, Gardner said while talking about the possibility of competing at the pro level. Hopefully, I can continue to play football. I'm anxious to get back on the field. I haven't had a helmet on since November. I think I'll get an opportunity. It's the best of the best now. I'm ready for the challenge. Gardner wrapped up his gridiron career at the college level this past fall. He'll be remembered as Humboldt State's best skilled position player. Jaquan finished seventh in voting for the Harlan Hill Award, the NCAA Division II equivalent of the Heisman Trophy. After rushing for 1,259 yards and scoring 19 touchdowns during his senior year, a three-time D2 Conference Commissioners Association All-American, Gardner was voted Great Northwest Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year for the second time. He was also named an All-American by the Associated Press and American Football Coaches Association. Jaquan led the Lumberjacks to an 8-2 overall record in 2017. Gardner became the NAC's all-time leader in career touchdowns scored, 75, points scored, 450, all-purpose yards, 6,979, all-purpose yards per game, 170.2, rushing attempts, 878, rushing yards, 5,426, and rushing touchdowns, 70. Set conference single game marks with 446 all-purpose yards and 6 touchdowns, and tied another league record with 5 rushing TDs during Humboldt State's 52-49 homecoming win over Azusa Pacific. Gardner's performance earned him NAC Offensive Player of the Week honors for a record-tying ninth time. He shattered 10 team records during his first three seasons at Humboldt State, including rushing yardage in a career, rushing yardage in a season, rushing yardage in a single game, touchdowns scored in a career, touchdowns scored in a season, touchdowns scored in a game, points scored in a career, points scored in a season, points scored in a game and longest rushing play. Gardner was runner-up for the Harlan Hill Award in 2015. He ranked first in the nation in rushing yards, 2,266, rushing yards per game, 188.8, and rushing touchdowns, 25. Jaquan was the recipient of the Sportsman of Stanislaus Club's College-slash-Open Men's Division and Male High School Outstanding Athlete Awards in 2017 and 2014, respectively.
Gardner, a three-year starter at Central Valley, broke the Stanislaus District's single-season rushing yards record during his final season with the Hawks. He totaled 2,467 yards and 27 touchdowns in 11 games. Homer Garza set the previous mark, 2,195, in 1997 with Houston. Jaquan was voted USA Today slash Azek's Ultimate Athlete of the Year. He was selected to the Cal High Sports Medium School's first team offense. He was named to the Max Preps All-Northern California and All-Sac Joaquin Section first teams. He also won the Western Athletic Conference Most Valuable Player Award. Jaquan ranked first on the Stannis Lost District's career rushing yards list. 6014, when he graduated from Central Valley, he eclipsed Central Catholic star Louis Bland's all-time record. Bland, 2407, piled up 5,140 yards in 47 games. Gardner tallied a program best 67 TDs. Jaquan helped Central Valley reach its team goal of qualifying for the Sac Joaquin section playoffs for the first time in 2013. The Hawks also posted their first ever winning record, 6 to 5. To be in the position I'm at today, I couldn't ask for more, Gardner said. I'm thankful for the people that supported and believed in me. Page 2 Two members of the series Dolphins Recreational Swim Club traveled to the Roseville Aquatics Center this past weekend to compete at the 13th annual Meet of Champions. Julia Pata and Alivia Ola Nolan both qualified by meeting standard times and finishing in the top 8 at the MVSL Finals. It's not a meet we've gone to before, head coach Tracy Bull said. A. Julia and Alivia decided they wanted to represent us this year. It was a big step up in competition. Both girls did a great job, I'm really proud of them. Ola Nolan finished 6th in the 100m, 1 colon 17.22, 9th in the 50 free, 30.42, and 25 fly, 15.19, and 12th in the 25 back, 17.70, while competing in the 9 to 10 girls division. Alivia set a personal record in the 100m. She swam phenomenal, Bull said. Pata placed 4th in the 100 free, 57.19, 7th in the 50 free, 27.08, and 10th in the 50 fly, 29.39, and 100 m, 1 colon 08.20, in the 13 to 14 girls division. She posted personal best times in the 100 free, 50 free and 50 fly. She had a really good meet, Bull said. Alivia and Julia both trained with Modesto JC head coach Kurt Olson at Johansson High School leading up to the event. Olson filled in for Bull, who was vacationing with his family in Crescent City. I came back early to watch them swim and help coach, Tracy said. Olin Olin and Pata both brought home medals and ribbons from the meet of champions. The event featured 1,000 swimmers from 48 different teams. It's not a surprise those two wanted to go there, Roseville, Bull said. They've been our hardest workers all year. They didn't want to stop swimming, I'm very pleased with how they did. They represented the MVS.